Today I'm back with a video that I haven't done in ages, it feels like, and that is an FPV drone review. And I'm here with the Gep RC Vapor X 5 inch with the O3 air unit, and I'm really excited for this one. So let's get started. I definitely feel like the FPV industry has been kind of stale lately, especially with those big brands besides DJI not releasing anything that's special, anything that interesting. So that's the reason why I haven't really talked about FPV lately. But I'm back again with another FPV drone review because this drone really deserves its own time and its own video. So the GEPRC Vapor X 5 inch is a drone that I recently started flying. It's a brand new release from GEPRC and I'll link it down below if you strictly want to check it out uh, as soon as possible. But if you want to hear my thoughts on it, here you go. So first of all, why did I choose a 5 inch? This drone comes in a 5 inch and also a 6 inch variations with the O3 and analog versions uh, HD Wasp versions, so many different options that you can find on GapRC's website, but I chose to go with the X version with the 5 inch size, mainly because I want to get back to something that I've been kind of missing and that is a little bit more crazy type of flying. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to become a freestyle pilot, I'm not going to switch my style that much, but I want to be able to go back to some of the beginning uh, phase of the FPV journey that I started way back in 2019, where I was really intrigued by all the different dives, all the different flips and rolls that I was experiencing pretty much for a very first time. So now I want to get back to that and incorporate a little bit more acro in my drone footage that I'm showing you here on this channel. I haven't really dove that deep yet uh, with this drone because the weather is absolutely terrible. It's been raining every single day for the past couple of weeks now, but I've been able to check out this drone a couple of times and I want to share my opinion on that. So first of all, we have a very high quality thick frame with carbon uh, plates and a lot of CNC components that give out this very, uh, I would say, high quality feel high quality vibe to this drone as soon as you hold it in your hand and you start feeling that it's, it's, it's just quality. It's not like cheap plastic, it's not cheap 3D prints. You have a lot of CNC components that are just very nice to, to, to the touch and also the carbon plates are great and thick so you shouldn't really worry about crashing this drone too much. But I have to say that the first encounter that I had with this drone was not a very pleasant one and it was because I was trying to attach this uh, action mount here and all the bolts on the top frame of the plate were so tightly fastened that it was just impossible for me to untighten them. I think they've been tightened by a machine or something because I've never encountered such an issue on any other pre-built drone. I don't really know what the reason was for, they, for them to be so tight but they were just impossible to remove. So it was a huge pain in the ass to remove those four bolts on the front so I can actually attach the action mount for my DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro, which I've been using to, to record some footage with uh, on this drone. But I also flew this drone without an action camera so I can experience it just so it, so it can give me some impressions of how the drone flies with just the battery on top as it's a freestyle drone. Mo most people would probably stick to the O3 footage and not really rely on an action camera for a freestyle drone. So I wanted to experience that as well. And I can say that uh, with a large amount of confidence that this drone is just amazing to fly. It has so much power. It has 2207 1950 kV motors, which are incredibly powerful, and it just goes wherever you point the drone. So if you're doing a dive, you want to be very precise and go near some obstacles, you can really point this drone at any direction. It will stay there. It doesn't have that floaty feeling. It doesn't have that you know, uh, going around movement that most FPV drones have when you put them into dive position. This is very precise. It goes wherever you point it and it's just a blast to fly. It's so, so enjoyable. Besides that, we have a 60 amp 4-in-1 ESC and an F7 flight controller here on the Vapor X 5 inch. Like I said, the drone comes with the O3 air unit on board and the camera is protected by those CNC camera side panels, which are protruding a little bit, making sure that the camera lens will be safe no matter what, even if you crash head on, which is great because you probably do at some point. And the whole thing weighs about 420 grams without the battery for the five inch uh, X version. There is also a dead cat 
orientation variant both for the 5 inch and for the 6 inch version of this drone so it's really up to you to decide if you want to have a true X configuration like this one or a dead cat orientation whatever you prefer personally I feel like for freestyle the true X configuration works so much better but keep in mind if you're using the O3 air unit to record your footage with you might see the end of the propellers inside your footage just a little bit so you might have to crop in just a tiny bit to to avoid that or to eliminate that propeller view from your footage but it's not really a big deal other than that i've been using these specific batteries from china hobby line 1300 milliamp hour batteries 6s of course to fly this drone they give me a flight time of about four to five minutes roughly uh, it really depends how much you really are pushing this drone around but gepard c recommends a higher uh, milliamp our battery uh, for the Vapor X. They are recommending something between 1500 and 2000 milliamp hours for the Vapor X. I personally think that this will make the drone a little bit too sluggish and heavy. That's the reason why I chose the 1300 milliamp hour battery, but it's, of course, it's up to you to decide what battery you're going to use for a drone like this. But I think for a five inch drone, you really don't need that much flight time. It's better to have that agility. That uh, flight time is probably better uh, reserved for a six inch drone if you want to extract the most out of it but for five inch I'm good with three four five minutes of flight time just just because I'm really used to it this drone also comes with a GPS option if you want to have that equipped on your drone you can configure it with that as well I'm currently using the ELRS receiver which of course is also configurable on GEPRC's website you can choose a plethora of different receivers for this drone but of course uh, ELRS and uh, Crossfire are the most popular choices out there. I took this drone on a recent shoot of mine that I was really hoping to use it a lot more in. Unfortunately, I couldn't because there was a lot of rain that was, of course, uh, a huge uh, pain for shooting with any drones. Uh, not only FPV but also some of my camera drones that I brought with me and then they were just impossible to to be used in that scenario so I kind of relied a little bit more on the ground cameras to record what I had in mind but still I was able to fly a, a few batteries with the Vapor X and I think it did well I just wanted to fly more but that's how things go sometimes you have to to use what you have and do what you can in those specific scenarios. So far, from what I've experienced from the Vapor X, it's a great drone. It's a very exciting drone. It's so powerful and it just flies great, very smoothly. So I cannot wait to bring it with me on some adventures. So stay tuned for that. Link is going to be in the description if you want to check out the Vapor X from Gep RC. It's a great drone. I highly recommend it to uh, to anyone looking to to have a freestyle drone. And if you want to check out the 6-inch version, it's also great for cinematic flying as well. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one very, very soon. Take care and goodbye.